Eddie Guerrero, Latino Heat himself, showing that he did indeed know all the tricks needed to defeat Kurt Angle. Who ever thought that a loose boot could ever be so helpful? A fantastic win in a very special matchup, and Eddie Guerrero remains WWE Champion at WrestleMania 20. For our next match, we go to the very next year in WrestleMania 21 in Los Angeles, California. The card was loaded from top to bottom and would feature the first WWE and World Championship victories for two guys named John Cena and Batista. Ever heard of them? But also on this night, a dream match of the highest order was set to take place. Folks, the issue between Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle blew up so quickly and so unexpectedly. It all started at the 2005 Royal Rumble match. After falling short in a WWE Championship match earlier in the night, Angle would steal someone else's number, looking for one last chance at the WWE Championship. Shawn Michaels also had dreams of headlining another WrestleMania, and winning the Rumble match was the only place to do that. Shawn was number 19, while Kurt entered at 20. And Angle was a whirlwind of offense once he hit the ring. But it was to be short-lived as Michaels would stun the crowd and eliminate Angle only 37 seconds after his arrival on the scene. Kurt went ballistic, attacking Sean and eliminating him from the Rumble. A dream match that could headline any card. Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels was not going to be about stealing the show or making memories. My issue with you goes all the way back to 1996. I won a gold medal. And people are talking to me about some guy named Shawn Michaels gliding down from the rafters that year and putting on a wrestling clinic. Kurt would reveal an obsession with proving himself superior to Michaels in every way possible, which included defeating former partners of Michaels, along with delivering an incredible rendition of Sexy Kurt, Angle's version of Shawn Michaels' entrance. Theme. I'm just a sexy Kurt. I make your ankle hurt. So with all the stars out in full force for WrestleMania 21, two of the greatest all-around performers in WWE history were finally set to lock horns. And here to provide us with some first-hand insight on this contest, Kurt Angle sat down with us. WrestleMania is just, you know, it's the most popular sporting event of all time. It's the most important event for any pro wrestler. And when you get there and you're able to perform there, it's a true honor. I consider Shawn Michaels the greatest overall entertainer in the history of the business. Shawn is the type of individual that puts on five-star matches show after show after show. And if you don't have that five-star match with Shawn, uh, then there's something wrong with you. You know you're gonna have to up your game and you have to be uh, at your very best. Once we locked horns at WrestleMania, the chemistry was there. I just thought that Sean and I might have had possibly the greatest match of all time. A true honor. Thank you to Kurt Angle for sharing his thoughts about his sublime encounter with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 21. With that, it's time for you to show that you've got the intensity, integrity, and intelligence to defeat Shawn Michaels under the brightest lights in sports entertainment. You know Mr. WrestleMania will be looking for every opportunity to stop you in your tracks with a little sweet chin music if you get too reckless.
Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle came into this match looking to prove their superiority over the other. Now, the match was about to kick up a notch. Angle looking to suplex Shawn Michaels right through the announce table showed how badly he wanted to injure the Heartbreak Kid in this contest. While Michaels managed to escape the attempt, he would not be so lucky on the follow-up. An angle slam into the ring post was not what anyone was expecting to see so early. But Angle would look to target Shawn's main weak point, going for the back that had been injured in 1998 and forced Michaels out of action for four years. With Sean's back compromised, Angle kept his focus there. But HBK is never out of the match, and he was able to send Angle to the mat.
Sean went big, looking for his flying elbow. But Angle managed to roll out of the way. And with Sean in pain on the mat, down come the straps. Angle would look to end things in quick fashion with an angle slam attempt. Michaels turned things around quickly, managing to escape the angle slam, and then backdropping Kurt to the floor. Did Sean have anything left? Could Michaels overcome the damage done to his back to this point and mount his own offensive attack? For HBK, there was no time to waste if he wanted to maintain control of the contest. Sean knew how good Angle was, taking a huge risk by diving to the floor knowing it might be the only thing that'd work at that point. And now, HBK had turned the tables with Angle hurting on the arena floor. Michaels would reverse another angle slam attempt, only to find himself in the ankle lock. But Kurt would receive no rest here, with Michaels again reversing to a pin attempt. Back to their feet, Angle would catch a sweet chin music attempt and finally connect with the angle slam. After Sean kicked out at two, Angle, for a moment, seemed to lose his cool. What do I have to do to beat this guy? It only lasted a moment, though, and with Angle pulling his straps back up, only to take them right back down, he appeared focused on the task at hand once again defeat Shawn Michaels and prove himself as WWE's best all-around competitor.
Despite controlling the match at this point, Angle would inexplicably lose his cool. His inability to defeat Shawn Michaels was causing the rage, and Angle let it all out as he screamed in Shawn's face. Michaels would break free from Angle's grip, and bam! It floor him with the picture-perfect sweet chin music. With Angle down, Shawn now had his chance. Did Michaels have enough strength left in that kick to knock Angle out? Could he capitalize here? Could Shawn shake off the damage he'd taken thus far and cover Angle with the pin? If Angle made it to his feet first, then Shawn's last gasp would have been all in vain. The referee continued to count. No way this would end in a double countout, right? But that was stopped with Shawn finally getting back to his feet. Running on fumes, Kurt Angle would try once more to kill the loser. 